Hey love, so another video, this is going to be by DivasWigs.com where you can get your lace wig um, on. I decided to do their Mariah Carey inspired glueless full lace wig. It does have dark roots. The color is not the same color as pictured, although I did ask for that, but to me it's not. I'm going to be using my, B, uh, excuse me, my Coastal Scents camouflage palette. I need to seal these knots because to me they looked a little swollen. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brush from also from Coastal Sense and get that inside cap. I do like to wear wig caps with my units because this does ensure that my wig will keep steady and it just will lay flat and won't shift around. Now I did wash the wig beforehand because it did come pre-curled and I really wasn't feeling those curls. They just kind of were like factory curls. So I went ahead and I washed and conditioned it and also what you don't see on camera is I did put some layers in this unit because it's really thin to me. It's not as full. There's not a lot of hair in this. Now to just make my edges look a little bit darker to match with the actual root of this hair, I'm going to be using my Topic Spray. This is also going to just make my hair look thick enough around the edges as it is a little bit thin. And I normally brush this in with a toothbrush and set it with some hairspray. So I'm going to go ahead and brush out the hair and put some kind of like beach waves into it. Try to give it like that Victoria's Secret kind of like, yeah girl, I'm looking sexy curl. Because the hair is blonde, now normally when I do blonde wigs, I don't do like a flat color. It's probably a little bit lighter or it has more different kinds of browns, browns and blondes in it. So I don't like one a single color blonde. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my hair. You want to take the hair and wrap it around and kind of like twirl your wrist so you can get those beach waves but you don't want to take the ends all the way around the barrel. Um, also like I was saying it's kind of thin. It's not a lot of density. I did pick the thickest density but however it's not thick enough for me. I do like a lot of hair in my units. Um, but you know, it all depends on, maybe you can make it look a little bit thicker by just cutting it a cer certain way. So this is the finished look for my actual wave curls. Of course, I'm not going to leave them like that. I do kind of like pull on them so it can loosen them up. But you can brush them if you want or you can just finger tassel and finger cone them. But I'm going to try to find a style basically that will go with this blonde look opposed to just wearing it straight. Now I will be honest and tell you that I love blonde hair but I'm not a fan of every color blonde. And this one being said, I'm not really a big fan of this particular blonde. It's more yellowish, too yellow for my tone. When I do blondes, there has to be different tones of blondes in it. I don't like just one flat color. Also for the roots, um, they are dark but for me when I did my own blonde wig, my roots were dark but they were very minimal. So you can see the darkness but it was very minimal to where it was just very minimal was noticeable but it wasn't even like a 1B it was basically like a medium to dark brown. For the most part the construction the cap is really um, tight it's a snug fit it is 20 inches and it is human hair. I try to do something different with the actual style of it because it was blonde I didn't want to wear it kind of like straight because it gave me kind of like a dead flat look so I decided to do like some waves in it. But Diva's wigs does come with a variety of different colors. I had a wig from there recently which I actually loved it was a very full wig this one to me is a little bit thin for a person that really loves a lot of volume and this is actually the bright exact depth or dimension or density rather for a wig you do get to choose what density you want your wig to turn out to be so I did choose the density of this one which was the fullest um, and you know just for me I love like a lot a lot of hair I like my wigs to be really really full the knots I did have to camouflage them with concealer Um, they looked a little bit swollen but you know opposed to that I did camouflage them with concealer and it came out pretty okay but I just think that the color needs a little bit um, more highlights in it or highlights in it all together I think it would be great if the unit had some highlights in it that way it would really resemble like a celebrity inspired wig instead of being like so flat so for the most part that is just my outtake or my thoughts on this unit I hope it, you guys have a great day and make sure that you rate comment and subscribe and check the description box for all the info and as always stay diva and divolicious and I'll see you guys on my next video this is for my babies. Bye.